my BTS bracelet update. And now, if you don't know the reason why I started posting videos about charm bracelets and charms and Pandoras and drill beads, it all started with me trying to compose this particular bracelet here. And the only charm place I know is Pandora. I didn't know where else to go. And from Pandora, I ended up finding out about all of this other stuff. So I just want to quickly show you how it's forming. This is really the main character over here. So it started off this whole journey, started off with the astronaut. Mm, so that's the uh, solo drop by um, the member of BTS who went to his mandatory military enlistment first in December. And then this is Jack in the Box. Um, one of the song in that album is called Pandora's Box. And so this is so such a good charm to represent that. And I have to thank one of uh, you who posted a comment and um, helped me be aware of the existence of this charm because I, I wouldn't know it existed otherwise. And so this technically came out first as soon as BTS uh, announced that as a group uh, they're taking a hiatus and they're going to pursue um, solo projects as they wait to enlist in the military before regrouping in 2025. Um, the BTS as we know it I think will change forever um, and as a group of musicians I think if you don't change you'll die. So this actually dropped in July mid-2022 as soon as that was announced. I think this has been in preparation for a couple of years. This one as well, Wildflower, was the title track for the second member, also the leader of the group, who then dropped his album in December. So that was dropped in um, July and then December. This is December as well, but um, he's the first to enlist, so this he ended up here. Um, this is the Purple um, Heart the synonymous with um, the group and the fandom. Um, the greeting is Borahe as in a mixture of Bora, which is Korean for purple, and Sarane, which is love. And so I put that there as a marker for the next year. So that's 2022. This is 2023. This one here, um, I've bought this off uh, the teaser of an album. So the album's not out yet, which is why I can't say too much about this one. Um, the teaser of the album called Face and it has the color of um, the human skin, that nude, uh, you know, that uh, this type of color. Uh, and then it has the circle of resonance, someone mentioned it. I see it as uh, what do you call them? Ripple effect, I suppose, where I guess the idea is that your inner self as an artist, as a musician, as a singer, it pushes and pushes one wave on top of the other, pushing the next circle, uh, the next ripple further and stronger outward past the barrier that is the skin of your face and out into the world. Um, and so I have been really liking this design because it's just so, um, the texture is just so, it's very chewy, you know, I, very um, dynamic. It has um, a type of three dimensionality that I quite like, but I wasn't sure other than decorative what it was going to be. So I put it aside, it wasn't a priority. And when this teaser of the album Face popped up, immediately my mind went to this. And at the same time, this popped up for sale. So I thought it was just synchronicity there. Um, initially I thought, what am I going to, you know, represent the face? How are you going to even represent that? But the album isn't out yet, so I really don't know what um, in it that I could, um, you know, that I could seek to represent in the form of charms for this bracelet. But this is definitely Circle of Resonance, the 
um, ripple effect that um, ripple effects different I guess maybe maybe not I don't know if you know anybody know more about this let me know down below but it goes from one small circle into a bigger and bigger one and uh, it's not just one it's a few and it, they all push and influence each other and um, strengthen each other and finally it became so big that um, in this regard with the flesh colored the skin colored uh, album and the aesthetic and with a title called face uh, combining with this circle of resonance um, this ripple effect album trailer I see it as that sense of self that grew uh, as an artist as a person where it's one upon each other strengthening each other and it finally is strong enough to be presented to the world strong enough for the person to then express themselves in accordance with what is on the inside taking what is behind the flesh outward through the flesh through the skin as opposed to acting out things that's been prescribed for you by other people outside of the self so but we'll see once the album is out i may have some other ideas about you know what to, what to put there but so that's that one there this is uh, the butterfly here it was initially purchased um to um i don't know i just saw a butterfly and i remember one of their songs from a few years ago which really stayed with me called butterfly but j-hope who have recently announced that he'll be enlisted next to a lot of people's surprise because he's not the second oldest. I think the second oldest is August D or Sugar or Yungi. He's going on a tour. So everybody was expecting him to go next because he turned 30 this month in March. Um, but on the street, uh, J-Hope um, had a single with J. Cole, his idol, his muse. Um, a lot of people seem to think that J. Cole completely overshadowed J-Hope in that track uh, while um, I see it as culturally, um, as an Asian, you have to make way for your senior, especially if the senior is your idol, a world-renowned, highly respected rapper, J. Cole himself, and so he hum, he dance, um, and there is the word butterfly again, the image of the butterfly um, opened up and uh, the cover of the album has a big butterfly. Um, a really touching farewell for now before he enlists, um, dancing to J. Cole again, just like when he started as a young boy, he was mainly a dancer before he was a singer and a rapper, but um, J. Cole inspired him to start writing lyrics and um, he's very, very good at it. And to us who do not speak Korean, it's very hard to access how sophisticated his poetry is because we don't speak the language. Um, I speak English, so I can appreciate J. Cole very much. And there is a barrier trying to understand Korean poetry when you don't speak Korean. And rap is rhythm and poetry, and J-Hope has both plentiful and plenty. And so this is for him, uh, for his, on the street. And this is just a stopper because I need I need this to stop from rolling out. And those are little daisies, um, which is a nod to a wildflower or indigo is the album for that. But um, RM says that, or um, Namjoon, he said that he wanted to live like a wildflower even though it's the path not taken it is impossible anymore for him and now that he's so famous you can't be anonymous anymore um i suppose you can you can just disappear and hide but indigo was initially and i initially had a dangle charm that i showed you in a different video which i really dislike and so i struggled with keeping that on my bracelet although it represents the album perfectly um yeah so that's the bracelet so far and this is the side bracelet which um, the world this is the 
youth, voices of youth. This is um, reminds me of the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself um, era of BTS, which is kind of more or less the era that they were coming out of, or oh, they were at the end of when I found them in 2020. At the end, they were going to. Uh, they were in their map of the soul era i believe and they were going into a tour for 2021 when everything was cancelled because of the uh, pandemic so this um i'll wear them together but i have been too afraid of wearing this outside because of the fragility of um this this is a very good system because it's so easy for you to do this yourself all you need to do is put this here and once you lock that in, you know, you could do this very easily compared to the traditional, say, the lobster claw hook, which is impossible to do by yourself. But there's a lot of money riding in these charm bracelets. And I just saw a post on uh, Facebook, one of the Facebook groups that I followed. Somebody lost a whole bracelet. Somebody dropped it in um, either the police station or a train station. I can't remember, but... Um, people losing their bracelet is such a common story with Pandora and I really don't like the safety chain so I'm kind of really conflicted right now about um, how to enjoy this at the moment I enjoy it just around the house or when I go for dinner um, and uh, I don't wear them when I go to the movies for example you know I'm very very um, conscious of when I wear them uh, hopefully I'll be able to find a way to wear them freely maybe I'll buy a piece of leather and just string this along maybe um, I don't know but I'm trying to find some ideas as to how I can wear these charms without worry and without fear um, if you packed up a bracelet I think they're worth about a thousand dollars on average and that's a lot of money to lose um, you imagine all that money is riding on this not failing this little mechanism here that's that's pretty you know that's pretty um anyway so that's that bye